In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to randomize position of vertices, edges, and faces in Maya. So this is helpful for when you want to completely randomize a position of a set of selected vertices, edges, or faces. And you don't want to go in there and do that by hand. So there's a way to do this in Maya very quickly. Here I have a set of simple planes created, and they are the default planes with large size and just uh, the default subdivision width and height. So the first one I want to show you is how to randomize vertices. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and select all the vertices. And you can do this to just a set of selected vertices or all vertices on the entire object. And this will apply for everything. So if you want to do this to the entire mesh, you can do so by selecting all the components or just the selected components. So after I have all these verts selected, to completely randomize their position, you need to go to Edit Mesh and Transform. Now let's go into Options. There's not much here to set other than set a random value. So I'm going to reset this to default. By default, it will be set to zero. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to one. We can always update this value through the channel box after, but just input something so you can see the randomization. And then go ahead, hit Apply. Or let's just, uh, either way, Apply or Transform Vertex. Both will work. One will keep the window open and the other one will close the window. And then you'll see a new gizmo appear. And uh, all you need to do is just move the gizmo on a specific axis. So in my case, uh, let's just move it up and down. And you can see that it's randomizing the Z position of the verts. You can do this on Z. You can do this on more of a flat surface in case of, a, of this plane on Y or on X. So let's just go ahead and do this on up and down on this blue arrow on Z. And uh, this is uh, maybe perfect for some terrain. Now we can come back into the channel box and tweak that random input. Right here, you still have that random value right here set to one. So if you push it too far, you could bring it back down to uh, just lowering the random value, let's say 0.5. Or you can actually push it above one. Now I don't have that many verses here, so it looks very low poly, but you get the idea. For the second option, let's take a look at the edges. So I'm going to switch over to edge component mode and I'm going to select all of the edges. And now let's go back to that menu, edit mesh and transform options. Uh, this is going to be set to one, so I don't have to go into the options menu every time. So I'll just go to transform next time. So let's set this tra uh, transform edge. And now just go ahead and start moving this. So again, this uh, looks very similar to the vertices and it kind of is because we are adjusting all of the edges at the same time and it just kind of gives us the same result. But if we maybe move in uh, different axes, uh, we do have a little bit of a slight, uh, slightly different result. So this may be good for some random tile patterns uh, on the ground. So now I have a flat plane and some randomization for edge position. And I could probably do the same thing with vertices, but instead I'm doing it with edges. Now you do have another option. So you can move this like I've been doing before with the same thing as vertices. But you do have this rotation gizmo that you could rotate and randomize this. But you got to be very careful because you might be twisting things around. And you also have scale as well. So you have a different value that you can scale this on different axes. And in this case, I can only scale on uh, X. The third component mode is faces. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to select all the faces here. And I'm going to extrude because we need some geometry to transform. So I'm going to press Control E to extrude, but then I'm going to keep faces together off because I want them all separate. And the faces right now are sitting on top of each other. So I'm not going to push and pull anything, and I'm going to use Transform for that. With the, all the faces selected, let's go to Edit Mesh and Transform, and I already, of course, have Random set to 1. So I'm just going to apply Transform, and I'm just going to pull it up. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it's randomizing uh, their position uh, by moving them in different heights for each face. Now there's a bit of a hard and soft edge issue here, uh, but that's easily fixed. And I could just apply a hardened edge on everything by holding down shift, right click hold, and let's do a hardened edge for the entire mesh. And here we have a random pattern. Our faces being pulled up. Pretty cool. Let me show you a fourth option. And this option is actually hidden inside the extrude option for 
extruding faces. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all the faces here. And then I'm gonna extrude, control E. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep faces together off. And I already have this random function enabled, uh, but you will not, by default it's turned off. If you left click on this little icon on the right, on the far right, in this floating box, this will give you access to additional inputs that you can use with extrude. And there's gonna be a random property here that you can enable and it will show up as part of the menu. And the first thing I wanna do is apply offset because I wanna have these faces maybe have a bit of space between them. So let's just do an offset. All right, so now they're gonna be all even like a tile on the floor. And then if I apply a random modifier to this, uh, it's gonna make them randomize in different uh, position for offset. And I can go higher than two, but you gotta be careful because it'll begin to overlap if it's too close. So I'll just set it down to one. So now you're randomizing offset. However, there is a slight issue if you try to use this option with thickness or local translate Z. So for that, we would use transform. But for example, if I go ahead and extrude these faces with its now random offsets, and I'm gonna apply thickness, I'm gonna raise them up. If I try to use this random option with thickness, nothing will happen. If I undo and I use local translate Z, and I go ahead and do random, it'll work, but it'll kind of angle the face instead of moving it up and down. So it just gives you a different result that could be used, and it does really work great with offset but not when you're trying to push and pull these faces in a st where they should be in a straight line. So for if I did want them to have a, more of an even height between each other and not an angle height, let me go ahead and do set this back down to zero. So I've already extruded. I'm going to set this down to zero. And uh, these faces are currently extruded. I just set everything back down to default. And now with them extruded, I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit Mesh and do Transform. And I go over here and now I can raise them and use the transform function along with the extrude random and uh, just get different height for each panel. And if you take a look now, uh, we've randomized the offset and then we also randomized the height. And then for the last example, let's just combine multiple of these things together. So I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, all the edges. And let's say I wanna just randomize their position. And again, you can do this to the vertex level or at an edge level. So I'm gonna apply Edit Mesh and Transform. And uh, let's just randomize, because I wanna have a flat plane. So let's randomize them on uh, on X, and it uh, looks like it's on Y. So just randomizing all the edge position, like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select all the faces. And let's extrude uh, with keep faces together off. And I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, offset. So I'm gonna kinda create that tile pattern. However, I want this tile pattern to have some randomization to it. So let's come in here to random and apply some random parameter to it, right about there. Let's take a look if we can maybe rotate. Uh, it may not work, but let's just try it. Yeah, and we can. We can do some random rotation for each one. Not too much, I gotta be careful. So we might have to come in here and fix this manually, but just gotta check. So uh, let me kind of actually push that back a little bit. And then I'm gonna do an extrude. Let's control E, uh, except that I'm not gonna use thickness or any of these because we can't, and I wanna randomize their height. So let's go back and apply Edit Mesh and Transform. And then move them up. Now I got some randomization. And now they're all even at the moment, oh, for the most part. They should be even. Uh, but since I did uh, some rotation, now we can actually have a, we have a bit of a, an angle to a lot of them. And that's just based due on the rotation that I applied. Now I could go back into my history stack and still adjust a lot of these. So if I went too far in some of them, you just have to uh, find the parameter that you changed and just tone it down. So if I go back to object mode, then go back to channel box, and then I can go back down to extrude faces, and I can adjust maybe some of these. Uh, as well as uh, the poly move faces, which is a transform node. So here's my uh, translate Z. Maybe I set it down to one. Uh, maybe I can go back to one of these extrude. Here's the pivot. So 
So maybe I can change this, maybe 500, see what that did. So you do have a, a ability to go back in some of these and you just have to find what you change. Here's the rotate in one of them. So uh, local translate, uh, local rotate Y. If I set it to one, then it'll uh, kind of bring it back to more in the even plane. So that is how you use randomization on your geometry and create some procedural positioning.